okay welcome to our physics for engineers so we are going to have our chapter 4 the moment of force so to begin with our discussion let's have the torque so what is the definition is the effective of a force in producing rotational about the axis it is the product of the magnitude of the force and the moment arm so we have here given a symbol we're going to use no so ibig sabihin so torque is measured at force can be cause an object to rotate about the axis just a force in this causes an object to accelerate in linear kinematics so torque is what uh, the causes of an object to acquire angular acceleration no so ito siya so ito yung mga uh, given uh, ano natin symbols so the moment of arm is the perpendicular distance from the axis of the rotational of the line of action of the force so if you will notice there is a fulcrum ito yung axis of rotation natin so yung moment arm natin this will be your moment arm the distance from your given force applied based on the um, axis of rotation or the fulcrum so let's have the relationship the torque relationship with the equi equilibrium so rotational equilibrium so a body is rotational equilibrium if the sum of the torsions acting it about any point be equal to zero the second condition of the equilibrium is the algebraic sum of the moments of or torques or torques of all forces acting about any axis perpendicular to the plane of the forces must be equal to zero so let's have the uh, equivalent statement so it means the sum of the clockwise moment or torque about any axis equal the sum of the counterclockwise moments or torques about the axis so we can consider to assume the different signs for the given torque if it is positive or if it is negative so masasabi natin siya ay positive if the force tend to produce counter clockwise rotation about the axis or if it is negative the force tends to produce clockwise rotation about the axis so for you to understand the moment force we're going to have the given illustration no? okay so calculating the torque one so calculate the torque on the lever exerted by the hand so and dito siya ayan so ibig sabihin with a given radius or this will be your moment arm so nandito yung center natin so you exerted a force downward no so ibig sabihin so choose a sign convention either anti-clockwise or the positive we decide in which direction force in pulling a pushing lever write the sign in front of your answer so if you're given the r and the theta use the formula for the torque magnitude so ibig sabihin sign ito yung ating data nya ito yung given uh, force nya so ibig sabihin yung exerted force downward so ito sya so ibig sabihin ito yung kinukuha natin so ibig sabihin if you're going to extend no kasi nandun siya ito yung hinahanap natin so this will be the angle or the sign so note it doesn't matter which angle you use it's either kung saan kayo mas komportable gumamit ng angle if you're going to use this angle or if you're going to use this one okay so the calculating the uh, torque 2 if you're given d no perpendicular distance from the axis to the line of action then use the formula so we have your given torque is equals to d multiplied by a given force so this one so ibig sabihin if we're going to use this diagram the line of action from the crosses the axis perpendicular so ito yung perpendicular natin the distance neto then multiply by a given force it's either no this will be your line of action kasi based on the given figure kanina binatak mo sa pagganan siya so next let's have a given solve problem so find the re resultant torque about axis a for the arrangement shown below find the torque due to each force as consider 20 newton force 
force first. So, yun yung una natin. So, based on the given figure, no, R, yung radius natin. So, we have the 4 meter, no, with your given. So, ito siya. So, if you're going to use the sign, so this will be your sign, no. So, ito siya. So, pag ganun, so ibig sabihin, 4 meter ang kanyang layo. Then, sign with your uh, x-axis. So, ibig sabihin, pag ganun ang ikot, so ibig sabihin, counterclockwise siya. Eh, clockwise siya, rather. So, ibig sabihin, you have sign of 30. So, ibig sabihin, you have the 4 meter multiply o yung tinatawag nating distance, multiply by your given uh, uh, angle, sign 30. So, we have 2 meter. So, ibig sabihin, yung FR natin with a given formula, FR, so with your given force, no, is 20 newton multiplied by 2. So, ibig sabihin, you have 40 newton meter, ibig sabihin siya ay clockwise. The force about A is clockwise and negative in 40. Next, so we have due to 30 newton force about the same axis of A. So, nandito pa rin po tayo sa axis ng A. So, A is, so if we're going to use uh, uh, the given 8 meter, no? Saan ba natin kukuha ninyong 8 meter? So, ibig sabihin, with this one, kabila naman, no? So, sine 30. Sine 30 pa rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, we have the torque, FR, is equals to 30 newton. 30 newton is the exerted force natin. Multiply by a given uh, 4 meter. So, upward, no? So, we have 120 Newton meter per uh, meter clockwise. So the torque about A is clockwise and negative 120. Next. So finally, we consider the torque due to 40 Newton force. So find the torque due to each force consider the for, uh, 40 Newton. So ibig sabihin, in this one, same pa rin tayo sa ating uh, point. A. So, ibig sabihin, we have the 2, this distance, or the uh, moment arm. 2, so we have the sign of 90. Now, if we're going to uh, if we're going to use this one, so, ito kasi siya, so, given x-axis, if you're going to use this one, this is perpendicular with the x-axis, with the y-axis, so, ibig sabihin, this is 90 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, you have 2 uh, meter. So, if you're going to use the given force of, four, of 40 newton, so 40 newton multiplied by 2 meter is equivalent to 80 uh, newton meter. Newton meter. So, ibig sabihin, this is counterclockwise. So, the torque is about A is counterclockwise and positive. So, last, find the resultant. So, resultant naman yung nahanap. This is the summation, no? of all given torque about the A axis for the arrangement shown below. So, the resultant natin will be the 40, yung nakuha natin kanina, tsaka yung nakuha natin 120, the negative, and we have the positive of 80. So, ito yun, yung mga nakuha natin dito. Yan. Yan, yan. Na? Then, we're going to have to compute the negative 40, um, minus 120 plus 80 so we're going to have the negative 80 uh, newton meter so ibig sabihin we have the clockwise so that's the end of our lesson 4 and I hope you uh, understand some of the um, lesson about the moment of force so thank you and have a nice day.